welcome you all myself as gopakumar assistant professor electrical and electronics engineering department rohini college of engineering and technology here in this session we are going to discuss about the bowley lattice diagram after successful completion of this session the student could able to explain the bowley lattice diagram introduction Bowley's lattice diagram is a graphical method that has been widely used for determining the value of a traveling wave in transient analysis. The method provides a very simple representation for voltage and current surge reflections as it travels along the transmission line. Here in lattice diagram in this method you can analyze a traveling wave with respect to reflection and diffraction. so at any instant what's the status of that particular wave can be analyzed with the help of this bowley lattice diagram so here i have shown a simple illustration for uh, understanding the lattice diagram here you can see node 1 and node 2 so let us consider these two nodes as the substation so here we have two cases one is short circuited ended and another one is open ended so the on open ended case here you have a substation in the second station you don't have any uh, station in the second node so instead of that it will be open terminal so what happens there won't be any reflection from this point that is the thing so but here in second case here it short circuited that is nothing but here you have two substation this is sending end and this one as the receiving end substation this is the sending end substation and this one number 2 is the receiving end substation so a1 b1 or the reflection coefficient reflection and diffraction coefficient in this medium and while you cross this uh, here you can see a dotted line after this uh, here let us consider the second medium here the reflection and diffraction coefficients are chosen as a1 dash and b1 dash similarly in node 2 the uh, reflection and diffraction coefficients are a2 and b2 and after node 2 it will be a2 dash and b2 dash let uh, here the impedance in medium 1 is chosen as z1 the impedance at uh, medium 2 is chosen as z2 and after node 2 the impedance value is chosen as z3 and uh, here we have the alternation factor here you can see another dotted line alternation factor at this point between 1 and 2 that factor between node 1 and node 2 is chosen as alpha and beyond node 2 it is chosen as beta so whenever a traveling wave crosses this wave it will be protected with the alternation factor that is the concept so here you can see uh, see here initially a wave is crossing with a uh, here the uh, refraction coefficient is b1 so we have multiplied it b1 and when it crosses this alpha it is multiplied with that that is alpha b1 and it reaches node 2 a part of wave will be reflected back and another uh, remaining part of wave will be refracted or you can say it is transmitted so now the uh, reflected wave when it comes back to uh, towards node 1 and here you can see again it crossing alpha so it is multiplied again with alpha alpha b1 is the value while it is multiplied with alpha it becomes alpha square b1 and when uh, here it is switching to from node 2 to node 1 you are supposed to multiply it with the reflection coefficient that is a2 so it becomes alpha square b1 a2 so it is reaching while it reaches the node 1 it will be alpha square b1 a2 similarly a part of wave get transmitted through the medium and a part of wave get reflected now the reflected wave whenever whenever a reflected wave from here it travels it need to be multiplied with this b2 isn't it so you have multiplied it with b2 that is alpha square b2 a1 a2 okay so it is multiplied similarly it goes on so now coming to the refracted wave when the refracted wave crosses here it is multiplied with b uh, b2 so here the refraction coefficient is b2 so whenever it is multiplied it is b2 and alpha 
b1 b2 and when it crosses beta it need to be multiplied with the second alternation factor b2 of that me particular medium therefore alpha beta b1 b2 this is the wave similarly for this wave when it comes here see at this point what happens these values need to be multiplied with this b2 as well as with beta so you'll be getting this value so this is how it goes on similarly coming to the first medium if you see at this point if the initially the value is chosen as unity and so it is one when it crosses here it is multiplied with b1 that is the refracted coefficient and when it passes to this point you need to be multiplied with the reflected coefficient so it is need to be multiplied with a1 similarly it goes on here you take this one and one more thing to be said here the horizontal lines these horizontal lines are equal interval time period and 0 1 2 3 4 are the instants so if you want to analyze a particular wave or if you want to analyze a particular uh, transmitted uh, wave or EMF wave at particular point it, you can analyze with the help of this lattice diagram So, it is the arrangement shown in figure, there are two junctions, 1 and 2, the time, uh, uh, traveling time for the wave are different through Z1, Z2 and Z3. The lines with surge impedance Z1, Z2 and Z3 are connected on each side of junctions. Let A and B be the alternation coefficients for two sessions Z2 and Z3, that is alpha and beta, that has been represented in the diagram. Let A1 and A1 dash be the reflection coefficients of wave approaching from left and right at junction 1 or at the first substation. And A2 and A2 dash be the corresponding reflected uh, coefficient at the junction 2. Similarly, let B1 and B1 dash be the transmission coefficients for the waves that approaches from left and right at junction 1 and the corresponding coefficients be b2 and b2 dash at junction 2 the construct to construct lattice diagram the position 0 is taken when the wave coming from z1 reaches to junction 1 junction 2 is taken as a scale at time interval equal to time interval through the line z2 between the junctions 1 and 2 in lattice diagram shown the horizontal intervals between the junctions are laid as proportional to time of passage of wave on these intervals and not proportional to their length the advantage of doing this is that all diagonals they have same same slope and time scale is applicable to each branch vertical time scale can be suitable be uh, chosen depending on the total time from which computations are required then starting with the initial incident wave various reflected and refracted waves are determined and indicated on diagram till the lattice is completed the characteristics of lattice diagram are all waves travel downhill the positions of any wave at any time is given by time scale or at the left of lattice the total potential at any place at any instant is superposition of all waves which have arrived at the point until the instant of time under consideration displayed in position from each other by interval equal to difference in time of arrival the previous history of any wave can easily be traced it is easy to find from where it came and what other waves constitute it the amount by which a wave is alternated in traveling between junction can also be incorporated in the diagram thank you